Gorilla, nature. Bro, let's go skate. Dude, E equals MC squared. Nerd for life. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? All right. How's it going, guys? Your boy Darius here. I am excited, to say the least. Um, again, my name is Darius, and I'm from San Jose, California, born and raised. I've lived there my entire life, and right now I am getting, I'm literally in the process to travel the country. Um, you know, I opened a nonprofit organization called Gorilla Nature Inc., which is the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is one of our, you know, this is our company. You know, we have a, um, you know, we have a clothing line, we have our website. I'm currently at the office location here. Um, you know, um, we're an international nonprofit, and our goal is to help people wherever there is a need. And we're doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I am so excited for this opportunity. So I'm going, right now I'm in Wisconsin, um, Altoona, Wisconsin, at our, uh, at our main office here. Um, but we have people all over. We have people in India, we have people in, um, in Latin America, um, you know, we're trying to expand to Africa right now. We're in the process of just, you know, doing as much as we can in the name of Jesus. We're trying to feed, help make sure that people have food if they need have a, a need for food. And, you know, if people have a need for clothing, we want to help people to have clothing. If people need shoes, in whatever way possible, we want to make a difference. So. I am, I'm getting ready to embark upon a journey. I'm going to California, I'm from the Bay Area. And the thing about the Bay Area is that we have one of the biggest homeless populations in the country. Um, so for me, this is a great opportunity. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set up and you know, I'm going to go and do God's work. You know, just be kind to people who may not who, 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 you know, the average individual may not be kind to or may not even notice. You know, I want people to know just because you don't have wealth and riches does not mean that you are not loved because Jesus loves everybody. So I'm, I'm excited for you guys to see me go out and help people. And, you know, this is, this is a documentary that I'm creating just to display and show, you know, the love of God. And I want you guys to experience this with me. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I just want to say God bless you. Please check out our website, www.gorillanatureinc.com. You know, I created that website like a year ago. Um, you know, this is just a trip to go and you know spread be an influence in the world um, we all have opportunities to make a difference the question is will you make the difference I remember um, when I was in my 20s you know I was just stuck on trying to chase after money and then even in my early 30s right when I stopped I used to drink and smoke and you know I, I I used to live a life going out to parties and clubbing I thought that I could just live life the way I wanted to and that the truth was there was no happiness in that lifestyle um, I convinced myself I was happy but the truth be told right if you have to take a drug continuously, right, just so that you can feel good, right, then clearly you are not happy. So when I, I had to, like, you know, nobody can, I can't force anybody to wake up and see the truth and the reality of the world, right? It's up to each of us to make these decisions on our own, but, you know, I want you guys to see my trip. I hope you guys enjoy this documentary. You know, this is just me out. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go to the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm going to go to San Jose. And then I'm going to head down to LA and Los Angeles. Those are places where they have just, you know, the biggest homeless populations. And, you know, I'm going to go out there and, you know, just be kind to people, you know. So, hey, hopefully this trip is a success and, you know, I make it to and from where I'm going safely with the grace of God I know it's possible 
you know, in Jesus' name. So, hey, I'll see you guys on the road. <laughs>
every, like, I would say maybe like once a year, it's literally been like nine months since the last time I've ate meat. So, you know, I'm just juiced. All right, this is it. As you can see, the barbecue. I ain't had no barbecue in a long time, so you know, I'm juiced, bruh. You know what I mean? I already tried the, the link. This is the link right here. This is how they give it to you. They just put it in a, like, a little paper bag and, you know, have at it. <laughs> just made it to Wyoming. Well, actually, we've been in Wyoming for a little bit. It is hot. I mean, it's like 90 some odd degrees. It is officially 346 in Mountain Standard Time. Um, and it's Thursday, June 10th. So, you know, it's really, really going down over here. The temperature is, it's like 90 some odd, 94 or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, we're, me and Anubis, we're making it. We're making it happen, you know, one day at a time. We are 100% like we are just like focused on our mission you know i'm excited to get to california go out there and start like you know doing exactly what it is that i have the ambition to do which is to help people you know so i'm juiced i'm juiced i'm juiced i'm so excited anyway um yeah wyoming i don't know what city we're in <laughs> but um uh you know uh we're somewhere in wyoming i'm not sure you know but we're just hashing on through here um i estimate um at this point i've been driving for about something close to I, i've driven 13 hours total right about 13 hours total we have about 17 hours to go so you know um no i think we got like yeah about 17 hours yeah 17 hours, something like that so i'm gonna try and smash out like another five to six hours and then we'll see what's going on after that how i feel maybe i'll be tired maybe i won't i don't know we'll see <laughs> anyway i'll catch you guys in the next location all right peace I'm currently in the middle of Wyoming. I have driven for about 14 and a half hours and I am dog, dog tired. <laughs> like I want to keep driving, right? The Uber driver in me, you know, I used to be an Uber driver and, you know, I used to drive for about, you know, on a regular about 12 to 14, sometimes 15 hours a day. So, you know, you know, the, the Uber driver in me is like, keep driving, you can do it. But, you know, the man with intelligence <laughs> is like, hey, bro, you do not want to die on the road today. So, um, yeah. I am, um, I'm just gonna, you know, call it what it is, and, uh, yeah, I think that, um, I think I'm going to, uh, take about maybe like a four or five hour nap, and then finish off this trip, you know, um, right now it's like 90 degrees out here, but, you know, I figure in, it's, you know, it's about 730-ish, or it's like 630 or something feet. like that. Turn left right on now. Wyoming so, 220. Well, GPS is still trying to take me home. It's like, let's go. I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> you know, 14 and a half hours, um, 900, uh, yeah, about 900 miles. Like, literally, I'm like smack dab in the middle. So I drove through um, Wisconsin, which is where I started, right? Um, you know, up north. And then... I drove through, um, where else did I drive through? I drove through uh, uh, Minnesota and then South Dakota, right? And then boom, that mounted me. And then now I'm ha I drove through half of Wyoming. So I only have to drive through Utah and then Nevada and then boom, I'm in California. And um, you know, then we can get right to business. You know, so um, yeah, I'm like, it's time, it's time. So yeah, I'm gonna take this rest and um, then start up in a couple hours, maybe about four or four hours or five hours or something, you know, depends on, you know, when it gets cool here. Cause it's like 90 degrees. It's gonna be very difficult to fall asleep in 90 degree weather for me. So yeah, anyway, 
catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> so this is the rest stop that I'm at. It's like uh, some kind of uh, independence state um, rest stop spot, you know. I would get out, but the wind is too, uh, it's too windy out there. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much what it is, you know. Um, yeah, this is, it's really windy. It's like, the, the wind is at like 65 plus miles per hour right now. So it's, it's pretty crazy. So, you know, I'm not getting out the car, you know, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, this is the, uh, the rest stop. Alright, so um, I am in Wyoming and me and Anubis, we just woke up. <clears throat> it is time to head to California again. We're going back on the road and I believe if I'm right, we, I, we have about 14 and a half hours. Let me check and see. We have about 14 and a half hours and about just a little about a thousand and like 57 miles or something like that until we're back in <clears throat> the Bay Area. So, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm ready to get home and, you know, <laughs> yeah, th actually a thousand and fourteen and it's under 14 hours. It's we're, we're at 13 hours, 53 minutes. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get home and <clears throat> so I can go out and start, you know, on my mission of helping people, you know, and making a difference in not just my community, but in communities internationally. So my teams, they're out right now. Um, well, this week they are, we have a challenge. They're going out by Sunday. They're gonna send me videos of them doing their work. And I'm going out to do, you know, the work as well. We're all doing God's work. So I'm really excited about this. Um, it's time to get back on the road. I'll see you guys in the next location, which if I'm right, should be Utah. So the next stop will be in Utah. Let's go. All right, so we're here at this truck stop. Um, we're at the Loves. This is where we slept last night. Um, the Loves truck stop, you can see. You know, Anubis is in the car right there, <laughs> looking at me. You know, they got all types of trucks. The trucks, the trucks come pull up and they park over here and, you know, and people pass out. Now it's, uh, it's currently 5.49 local time. So um, yeah, it's time to get up out of here. They got the UPS truck over there, you know. The, the Love's truck stop, you, you know, I got some Subway last night. I got Chester's, the chicken. I ain't get to get that one, but you know, I'm excited. Let's get it in. You got the trucks passing by, look at them. There you go. <laughs> nice truck stop. Look over there, you probably can't see it, but they got like a whole bunch of trucks over there. But yeah, it's uh, 549 local time. Let's get it in. It's time to get it, time to get it. Trying to get it, I'm juiced. Um, you know, back to the Bay Area we go. It's time to go home and do the work of God. Let's get her done. Catch you guys in the Bay. Let's go. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. All right, you guys, so um, 
your boy is a uh, I'm over here right now um, at this restaurant it's called Little America right um, it's in Wyoming this is I'm about to cross over state lines pretty much and um, uh, you know I'm about to be in Utah next so I'm gonna stop over there in Utah and you know we're gonna try out the uh, some uh, I'm probably gonna get some euro I'm gonna, I'm gonna go searching for a euro you know I'm gonna get some Greek food the yarn with the euro pita you know what I mean anyway here we're gonna be trying the buffalo burger made from actual buffalo um, this is gonna be crazy <laughs> I've never in my life eaten buffalo before and I ordered it and I'm kind of scared so anyway we're gonna go in here and we're gonna check it out I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let you know what it's like you know what I mean like let's do it I'm juiced I'm juiced let's all right you guys so um I'm in here right and I'm about to try this buffalo burger should be coming out anytime soon right we're in little America here um, pretty juice so you know I'm excited this is gonna be great this is gonna be uh, this is, we're gonna make this happen and then we're gonna get back on the road and um, on to Utah you know um, I don't know what to expect in Utah but we're going there so you know I'm juiced oh shoot I think this is my is this the buffalo burger uh -huh. the buffalo burger all right you guys it's time I got some french fries I got the buffalo burger here it is I'm gonna show you what it looks like this is it right here as you can see the buffalo burger you know got the patty here um, you know they put some stuff on there That's, I'm juiced about that got the french fries everything comes with a drink dude this was expensive it was like $17 so you know <laughs> we're gonna see how how good this buffalo burger really is you know look at that yeah let's go all right here we go I'm gonna try it out uh, can, I, can I get the special sauce is this one fry sauce yeah is this a fry yeah. sauce do you guys have like uh you, uh, ranch as well. do you have ketchup and mustard ketchup and all that it's gonna be all over there okay all right for sure oh, here, here's ketchup right there okay cool all right you guys I'm about to try this buffalo burger let's do this here it is I put the uh, ketchup and mustard on it you know I'm gonna do it just basic style you know I'm just gonna tear into this thing and uh, hopefully it's good you know mm. not bad Mm, not bad at all. I must say, pretty good. Buffalo burger. I'm gonna try their uh, special sauce here. Mm. Oh man, not bad. Wow. First time ever eating a buffalo burger. Mm. Mm, there it is. Wow. That is a good burger. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow. If you're ever in Wyoming, you gotta try this. Let's go. Well, hey. Um, I'll see you guys in Utah. Alright, you guys, so um, I'm here in, uh, I'm here currently in, um, where am I at? I think I'm, oh, I'm in Utah, I just made it. Anubis, get over here. Come here, Anubis, come here. Uh, yeah, I just arrived in um, Utah. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I'm not quite sure what city that I'm in right now, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Anubis, come here. anyway um yeah so just arrived here in utah very excited um 
yeah, now we're uh, heading on through here and uh, well, I probably, if I drive through Salt Lake City, I'm gonna stop there and get some gas and then I'll probably go look for some food to eat somewhere, you know. We'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, we're uh, over here at a rest stop. Uh, you can probably see these beautiful mountains here behind me. Uh, a great in the great state of Utah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm so excited. So uh, back to the trip. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. And in, in the name of Jesus, let's get it done. All right, you guys. All right. So um, your boy has officially made it to uh, Salt Lake City. And I'm about to hit up this Greek restaurant right now. Um, it's called the Olympian restaurant. I'll show you guys right now. Um, I'm juiced, bro. Salt Lake City, this is my first time ever being in Salt Lake City, Utah. You know, never been here before. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check this out, you know. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about right there. You can see um, the Olympian restaurant sign. I'm sure you can probably see that, right? I'm juiced, man. But yeah, this is it right here. This is the spot. You know what I mean? I'm about, I'm about to try some Greek food. Um, back in San Jose, we got this spot, spot, or San Jose, California, right? They got this place called, um, it's like a really, really, really good uh, great Greek restaurant. Um, thanks, man, appreciate that. Okay. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I'm Juice, man. I'm about to uh, go up in here and check it out. I'll get back right, right back with y'all. All right, so um, your boy has officially arrived. Salt Lake City, Utah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm juice, bro. I'm juice, all for the glory of God. God has brought me through Wisconsin, um, through, um, <laughs> wait, Minnesota. Um, where else did I go? I went to Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, and then I bounced through North, South Dakota and Wyoming. That's four states. And now, boom, I'm in Utah. That's five states, let's go. All by the glory of God, all through the grace of God, man. We, I am so juiced, man. I only have Nevada, and then boom, I'm in Cali, you know what I mean? Back home and on to the mission work, you know? Juice, 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 juice. But um, yeah, I'm about to get some, uh, I'm about to get this uh, Euro Pita. It's this restaurant called the Olympian Restaurant. So I'm about to get this Euro Pita, and then I'm about to get back in the car, back to the mission. So, hey man, I'll see you guys at the next location. Boom, 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 let's go. All for the glory of God, amen. All right, you guys, so um, check this out. I'm here in, uh, like I say, Salt Lake City, Utah, right? And I just got some Greek food at this place right here. It's called the, uh, the Olympian Restaurant. Um, the Olympian Restaurant. Um, this and the owner, the lady, she's so nice that she decided to give me a free bag of cookies. I guess, you know, she liked, you know, I was telling her about, you know, my mission and she gave me these free bag of Greek cookies. So it looks like the mission's starting early because I'm going to go take and find somebody to give these to, you know, um, hopefully I can be a blessing to somebody, you know, there's probably somebody out there who, you know, just could use a, a little bit of cheering up. So we're going to go and find that person right now. All right. It'll probably happen when I go and return this red box movie. I'm pretty sure. So, Hey, to God be the glory. Let's get the job done in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. All right. So, uh, here we are. We're in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's beautiful out here, bro. It's real beautiful. Turn left. As you can probably see. Um, so right now I'm on a mission to find somebody to give these cookies to. Um, I'm positive I'm gonna find someone. <laughs> real talk, there's gotta be somebody who can use some good cookies, you know, or Greek cookies. Because uh, I'm for sure not going to eat all them cookies. I ate one, and that's enough for me. To wood. Ooh, man, this is, got some nice neighborhoods over here in Salt Lake City, boy. This neighborhood is... 300 feet. Pff, 
Turn left on East Legit. Westminster Avenue. Turn left on East Westminster This is, whoa, this is nice, nice. I could imagine this in the winter. <laughs> Turn left on Garfield Avenue. Oh, man. In 700 feet. Wow, bro. This place is legitimate. Oh, man. I like this. Real talk. I like it like that. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Somewhere around here is the person that I'm looking for. Question is, where are they? Here's another 7-Eleven. I should check over here. to the 7-Eleven. Let's pull up in this thing one time. Pull up. We're in Salt Lake City. Utah. I'm about to just go on foot. <laughs> like, hey, man. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to find somebody, bro. Real talk. Yo, he's got to try him. All we can do is the best that we can do, and that's it. After that, ain't much more we can do. Anubis, go sit down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy, Anubis. Anubis, go sit down, get in your bed. Go to your bed and sit down right now. Goodness gracious, that guy. No, in your bed now. So here we are, Salt Lake City, Utah. It's pretty, pretty cool out here. Ooh, let's see here, we gotta turn down ISO, about 250. That's perfect. Oh Lord, this is a, this is a real nice place, man. This is legit up out here. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Are you blessed? Hey, man, do you like uh, Greek cookies? Have um, you been to um, the the Olympian? I haven't. Where's that at? Um, it's I don't. I'm not from here, man. I, I just went to this place right now, mm -hmm. and the lady, she, you know, she wanted me to like. I paid somebody's bill, mm -hmm. and so she gave me this bag of cookies. The thing is, I don't eat like sugary type foods. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it to somebody. This is the guy right here. I already know. I know this is the guy. Hey, man. Hey, hey, you like cookies? You, you, you know about the Greek food, the Greek cookies? Yeah. Hey, you want these ones, man? I literally just got it right now. I came from the Olympian. You know, um, the lady, I paid for somebody's bill and the lady gave me these cookies. And I don't eat sugar. I, I'll, be, I'll be real with you straight up. I, I shouldn't eat it either, but. Hey, man, I, it's, I don't want to throw it away. You know, I tried to find somebody around here to give it to, but I just, I couldn't find anybody to give it to. That, um, I'm, I'm doing a documentary right now, so <laughs> right. I'm working. Hey, man, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Hey, God bless. You have a good one, man. Catch you later. So, sure enough, you guys, sure enough. There's always, there's always someone, man, who could just use a good up in the day. So, you know, all right, back on the road. We're heading to California. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a great trip, man. To God be the glory, man. Let's make it happen, bro. Gorilla nature, yeah, yeah. I'm in it to win it, let's go. All right, you guys, so your boy officially made it to Nevada. We here in Nevada. Um, cross, just crossed over state lines just a second ago. Right now we're at a, st uh, a rest stop. You see probably behind me a whole bunch of, we're in the mountains, so you know, it, it's mountainous. <laughs> whole bunch of mountainous. Um, but you know, I'm really trying to get home to California, so um, 
I am not going to be making too many stops. The next stop that I make after this will be to refill for gas and then after that, I'll, I won't make any more stops until I get home, unless it's like absolutely necessary, you know. But I doubt that's gonna be the case. So God's grace is sufficient. I am excited, you know. Um, yeah, man. Nevada, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Next stop, California. Good old Cali, baby. Good old Cali. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, juice. Your boy is juice, I'm so excited. Nevada, you know. Next stop is uh, Bay, Bay Area, California. And um, yeah, man, I I'll see you guys there. The grace, the grace of God has brought me this far. Um, brought me an Anubis, you know, the dog, the beagle, and, you know, um, I've just been so blessed, you know, like, oh man, I, I met an a awesome gentleman, got to pray with him in Wyoming, um, you know, like, it's just been, oh, oh, I didn't even get to tell you guys, I almost left my phone in, at this truck stop, my phone's right, I, I left the phone in the restroom when I went in there, and I swear, it is nothing but the grace of God. The gentlemen, because without my phones, like, I didn't, that's GPS, that's communication, you know, like, that could have, like, been a huge issue, but nothing but the grace of God. And, you know, Jesus Christ blessed me. The guy, he, he came out and brought my phones to me, like, straight up. One of the guys that worked there, and, and you know, he, I guess he found me in the bathroom. He said, oh, I seen your little doggy. And I was like, he really <laughs> seen this. I seen the dog and, and the videos on my, because I have a, a video of my dog on my phone as my screen. Screensaver, so you know, nothing but the grace of God. So, man, that was such a blessing. Um, I'm just excited to see what else God is gonna do on through me and for me on this trip. So, glory be to Jesus Christ. I'm excited. Catch you guys at the next stop. All right, you guys. So, um, here I am, bro. California. Um, I'm officially in my home state. God is good, man. After. I don't know, I think it's, I've driven um, 1,800 miles. I've driven 1,800 miles, man. Uh, I've driven across like five states. You know, now I'm in, in the sixth state, so it was uh, just to go over the list, right? We got, um, there's, uh, we start off in Wisconsin, cross over um, Minnesota. We hit um, Minnesota, uh, South Dakota, Wyoming, um, Utah, um, wait, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, and now California. So yeah, six days. Let's go. Your boy is juice, bruh. Um, trip total. Um, so far, I have two hours, about two hours, two and a half hours till I get home. Uh, trip total is about 27 hours. So, you know, <laughs> that's just driving hours. That doesn't count. Like, you know, I actually left like a day and a half ago. So, you know, almost two days ago. So, you know, I'm juice, bruh. Like, God is so good. I'm so excited. You know, all the glory to Jesus Christ. So, you know, let's get this, let's get it done, man. This is it. This is a home stretch. I'll see you guys. Um, at home, so let's get it done. <laughs> on, on to All right, you guys. So um, today it is officially it's officially my mom's birthday. You know what I mean? Well, actually, no. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday, but we're here early. So yeah, this is great. early. Hey dad, we made it. Right. We made it. Right. Me and Anubis. Come on Anubis. Uh, Good. Where's uh, Pretty at? Um, I think he's down there. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well we made it. Yeah. We made it safe. We traveled, traveled 30 hours across the world. It was a crazy trip. Anubis, get over here. Where's she at? 
You got switch rooms? Oh, nice. Oh, she's awake. Hey, mom. We got, me and Anubis are here. How you turn this light on? Ma, how you turn this light on? Anubis, come on. Come on, Bubba. All right, we made it. Happy early birthday. <laughs> Woo! We made it, Mom. There's no picture of me. So, uh, you guys can see. We made it. We traveled across the country. All right. By the grace of God, 30 hours, crazy travel, you know, all types of crazy things. But the grace of God is sufficient, uh -huh. and we are home. And yeah. this is the one who's going to be doing the helping with me. We're going to San Jose, we're going to Oakland, and we're going to Sacramento. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. The grace of God is sufficient. So, amen. Wait, what's today? Today is Friday, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. So, when is uh, Alyssa's birthday? Sunday. On my birthday. The same week? Mm -hmm. When are they going to the... Uh... Sunday is Sunday. Anyway, we made it home to California. Um, crazy trip. Crazy long, long trip. But the grace of God is sufficient, you guys. Yeah, so excited that we made it. God is good. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow when we go out and we start doing stuff. All right. So we're here. We made it officially. I'm in, um, you know, I was, uh, I live in San Jose, California, but, you know, um, right now I'm at the car wash. Um, I'm getting my car detailed because, you know, that 30 hour trip, bro, that like literally, that was a full on beating to my car. You know, so, um, yeah, man, we're over here at Classic Car Wash. You know, my mom's here. I got the dog. And, uh, yeah, man, it's going to take about an hour for them to wash the car. They're going to, you know, do a nice hand wax, wipe down, dash doors, the full work. So I'm really excited to see what the finished work is going to look like. You know, um, I figure if I'm going to be representing God, I want to I wanna do that in the best light possible. So, anyway... Yeah, man, I'm going to come back to you guys a little bit later. We got some trips happening. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. All right, so um, I'm waiting for my car to get washed right now. So, um, you know, there was a scripture um, I remember reading, and it was, uh, it was it, these are words directly from, Jesus, right? It's Matthew um, 25. Um, so I'm chapter 25, I'm just going to go ahead and start off. It says, when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right hand, right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by, by my father, take your inheritance Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needed clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you are a cursed, uh, you are, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. 
For I was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick in prison and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did you, we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or, or needed or, or needing clothes or sick in prison and did not help you? He will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did not for one of the least of these, you did not for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. So, you know, this is, this is a direct scripture and commandment from God, from Jesus himself, right? Jesus is telling you, he's telling me, he's telling us, right? Our purpose is to go forth and help people. We, you know, homeless people on the street, right? You see somebody and they don't have shoes. Our job is to give them shoes. You know, if somebody is hungry and starving, our job is to feed them. It is very simple, you know? So, you know, I'm on this mission and I'm gonna do just that, right? I'm gonna travel the world, I'm gonna feed people, I'm gonna clothe people, and I'm gonna be kind to people. I'm gonna invite them in, you know, even if I don't know them, because my job is to be like Jesus. So I'm gonna do the best I can to do that. So, hey man, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, so we just had the fresh, fresh wax done on the car, you know? So it's looking pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. It's looking real nice, so, you know, as you can see, right, we got the car nice and waxed up and it's time. You know, tomorrow we're gonna go out and we're gonna do the ministry work, you know? Get the nice wax on that thing. I like it, you know? My baby looking real good. We're gonna be out there looking nice. Got mom in the car, look at mom. Mom! Look at mom. Mom, how you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> look at mom, she over yeah, here in the car. And look at, mom, look, Anubis winding the window down. Look at him. Look, look, mom, he winded the window down. Look! I told you he can wind the window down. <laughs> That's exactly why I locked the door anyway. Um, yeah, mom, can you, can you hold this right quick? Tell me what it looks like. How does it, how do I look? No, don't press anything. It's already recording. Does it look good? Yep. Yeah? Yep, we look handsome. No, but the lighting, how does it look? Is it too bright? A little bright, yeah. Oh, it's bright, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, man, we got to change those settings. Just a little bit. Let's see. 640, 500. We'll go down to 320. Let's see, tell me how does it look now. How's it look now? Oh, wow, that's the best, that's the one. Okay, so um, yeah, man, we are here in San Jose, or I'm sorry, right now I believe we're in Saratoga, California, and I just got the car wash. I'm here with my mom, she's holding the camera, and I'm so excited because tomorrow we're gonna go out and we're gonna do God's work, you know? Like I say, it's Jesus life. Ma, can you show the cap, the shirt? You see, Jesus life, right? This is, this is, this is what we're living. This is the type of life we're living. You know, we're, everything that we do, we're doing this so we can make an impact for the kingdom of God, you know? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that Bible scripture that I read earlier. You know, um, I'm on a mission 100%. So let's do this. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're out, out there feeding the people and doing God's work. God bless. All right, you guys, so, um, I'm over here, um, Anubis, come here, come here now. Come. I'm tired of telling you, I'm not gonna tell you anymore. That's it. From next point, we're getting right to it. Right to it the next time I tell you to come here. So um, how's it going, man? Your boy Darius here. Um, right now, I'm over uh, at my brother's barber shop. So um, I got that Amazon package, right? And um, this Amazon package is actually for my brother. So I'm so juiced, right? His birthday passed and you know, I'm living in Wisconsin right now. So I didn't have a chance to give him anything. So I'm really excited to go take this and show him to give this to him. So I'm about to go in there. Um, he, he runs a, bar a barber shop, which is across the street. It's called Pro Styles Barbershop. It's like literally right over there. So, you know, um, yeah, we're gonna go over there and um, yeah, give him the box and he'll open it. All right, man, I'll see you guys across the street right now. Let's go. To win it. 
All right, you guys, so um, I'm here at the barber shop. You know, I'm Juice with my brother Derek. Like I said, we got him the Amazon package. I'm Juice about this. Let's go. Go ahead, pop that thing open, man. I don't know if that's the way <laughs> to open it, but here it is. Let's go. Happy birthday, belated. Yeah, hope you enjoy them things, you know. What, what else do you get a barber, man? What do you get a barber who has everything? He got cars, he got money, he got wife and kids. I'll tell you what you do, you invest in his business. <laughs> That's what you do. Invest in the business, what do you think? How you like them things? Ooh, the black joints? Yeah. They're looking out. Yeah, buddy. That's supposed to be the ones. Those are the baby lists right there. He's supposed to be legit. Yeah, he's one of the best ones. He's the best in the game right here right now. Are they? Ooh. Yeah, this is this, this for like 200 on the Amazon. You see it? Good looking out, man. Yeah, buddy. And the best part is that they're wireless, you know, so, you know. There it is. Pro Styles Barbershop, you got to come check it out. You know, uh, we're going to start doing the, um, we're going to do a commercial later on, but yeah. Anyway, Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. yeah, man. Hope you enjoy them. Ma, how you doing? Mom over here chilling. Look at mom. My mom is the reason for all of this. So we're gonna come back to you because we get my mom a car pretty soon here, so that's gonna be in the works too. We love you, mom. We love you. Thank you for everything. You're an amazing woman. Thanks, mom. All right, you guys, how's it going? Your boy Darius here, I'm so juiced. I'm here at my parents' church. Um, it's called Golden Altar Ministries. I'm so juiced, I'm about to go inside. And um, yeah, man, we're gonna see uh, Pastor Cal is the, uh, he is the, uh, pr the pastor for the church and I'm just excited to see what is going on. So uh, here we go. If you're not angry, anybody can tell you anything. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to my, my, my shirt. Will you put that up? Pastor Cal's. I'm going to show you how to remind you. Um, orchestrate this meeting. You see what I I came to teach you about the ascended life. Getting coming up high. She didn't know that. You didn't know that. The songs didn't know that. But my purpose before you today is to bring you to a higher place of understanding and how to get from the low place to the high place. And the plan of God on how to get there. God is a God of divine order and instrumentality. He always has instruments to help him bring order into his kingdom. He uses men, set men, and set women, and puts them in place, and authorities that are not in control. Men do not control anything. God does not have a man in control of the church. Pastors, you begin to grow past the legalism that you were bound by in the outer court. You begin to grow and understand that grace has brought me this far by faith. And that legalism was a chain around my ankle. Yeah. Like the elephant at the circus that taught him as a little elephant that this chain is stronger than you. And when I stick it in the ground, you can't move past that chain. The elephant didn't know he was four tons and he could move any time he wanted to. But he was brainwashed to stay chained. As long as you're living Come in on. a legalistic Come church, on. you can brainwash to stay but leave your privileges in God. Good. Yeah. Make it play. Anytime the elephant could have said, click, click. Yep. And one day the tent caught on fire. Now the elephant's been inspired to lift that leg. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And he broke free for the first time in his life, but it took fire 
to get him to move. And that's what that candlestick recommends. Soon as you come in there, you see the fire of his glory. You see the fire of his sonship. You see the fire of what he represents. Amen. And it makes you break your chain. Sixty for gold is a realm of mixture. He allows you to still use your own will while you're in the church. You can come to church or not go to church. You can join the ministry or not join him. You get to make decisions even though he's covered you with gold, which means he's anointed you with deity over your humanity. But you still get to drive the car. That's why people don't understand church. You are the church. Church is not no building. It's a people called ecclesia or ecla or ecclesia or ecclesia. Uh, it, it means simply a called out people who've been elected by God to show forth the Son of God in the earth. Simply put. Will you let me teach this? Yes. Got a few more minutes here. Now, this is the realm of the soul. Now there's been a marriage between the law uh, has been divorced and you've married grace. Now the soul has another journey and another marriage. So church is officially over. Let's go talk to Pastor Cal on Juice. So, hi. so uh, you know what it is, man. Where Darius has been here. Church just got out. Um, so excited. Now it is time. We got to go shopping and get all the food and stuff like that. And then we're heading to uh, St. James Park, San Jose, California to get the job done. Pastor Cal, how you doing? Good, boy. I ain't seen you. you doing, in, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm, I'm doing a documentary. Okay. Um, I started a well, no, no. I started a Christian nonprofit organization, an international Christian nonprofit organization. So I got people working for me, and we're doing this all in the name of Jesus across the world. So I got people in India, I got people in uh, uh, in Central America, in Argentina, in Chile. I just uh, we just hired another guy over in Ghana. So you know, and I'm here in the United States. So you know. We out here just trying to do the work of God. I got connections all over everything. Oh, really? I've been trying to get a hold of you because I want to do an interview with you. I have a podcast, and you know, I've been. I did a. I did an interview. I don't. I don't even live in California anymore. Did my mom tell you? No. I moved to. Uh, I live in Wisconsin. So I'm leaving to. I'm, I'm doing international travel right now. I'm getting married in October, but I'm leaving to Nicaragua. My fiance is from Nicar from Nicaragua. She's in Panama, but I'm going to meet her mom, and then uh, and, and we're gonna do work when I go out there in Nicaragua. And then wow. in uh, September, I'm going to India to you know go do the ministry work out there. In India. Well, you gotta connect me. I'm, I'm going to Bangalore. I don't know if you guys That's are close to where I'm at. I'm in Hyderabad. Hyderabad? Hyderabad. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm right in, next door to Bangalore. But how do I get a hold of you personally? Did, I mean, do you have an email or? I'll give you my card. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, hey, let, let me just get texting. This is Pastor Cal. Pastor Cal, how you doing? Yeah, How's wonderful. Everybody? Wonderful. Yeah. He he just put on a killer sermon today. I mean, amazing. I was talking to my parents about the things he was talking about. I'm just so excited. You know? Hey, hey, anyway, thank you, Pastor Cal. All right, hey, you did it. Great sermon. Great sermon. So I'm so excited, you guys. You know, it's going to happen, man. I'll catch you guys a bit in St. James Park. Boom. And then later on, um, either Monday or Tuesday, we're going to Oakland. So, you know, Oakland, California, here we come. We're going to do God's work. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, so here we are. We made it to the grace of God. Mom's over here. <laughs> Mom, how you doing? I'm How you doing, Mom? To, I'm witnessing. Hi. My mom out here chilling. Yep. I'm Blessings. Hey, man. How you been, bro? Come on, man. Darius. Darius. <laughs> Did you? We're over here 
getting that food out, you know, all for the glory of the king. All for the glory of the king. What's up? How you guys doing? Hey man, blessed and highly favored. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be able to, you know, try and do something out here. You know, we're trying to give to the community because we all family out here, right? <laughs> Real talk. We, hey, you, you guys are from the Bay, right? Yeah. I'm born and bred too, man. You know, like born and bred right here in San Jose, East Side. East Side. Wait, where we at? Okay, 150. Boom, there it is. Turn the ISO up. Boom, there it is. Yeah, we got the food over here. It's going down. We got all this food here. Egg rolls, the whole lot. I'm about to get me a plate. I'm excited. Look at mom. Let me see your shirt, mom. Show me your shirt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Representing. Yeah. 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 Your real nature. I like my your hair is lit. <laughs> your hair is fire. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. We're looking for oh, that's what we're looking for. And we're looking for sunlight. No, we're not looking for that. Sunlight. Yeah. Huh? Is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, nice. It's a beautiful day out here. Real talk. All right, Mom, I'm going to go round some people up. Um, yeah, just, you know, like, make a plate if you want. Mom, can you uh, help her park? You guys? So, uh, you guys know what it is, man. Your boy Darius, man. I'm out here, bro. Uh, downtown San Jose. Hey, you hungry, bro? Hey, we got some Chinese food, bro. Uh, you don't want a soda, a drink, or water, or nothing? Uh, you good? Yeah, we got right. bottled water, sodas. Go ahead, it's all free, man. All free. Hey, man, you guys hungry? You guys want some food? We got some Chinese food, some egg rolls. We got some fried rice, bottled water, sodas, a whole lot. Just walk straight down. Straight down, right over there, man. So, uh, I'm out here, man. I'm about to go get on this mission. Um, yeah, on the mission. Hey, man. Hey, you hungry, bro? We got some Chinese food right over there, bro. Fried rice. They got sodas, bottled water, everything. Just walk over to the black car right there. Right there, man. Go get some food. Yeah, man. It's going down. Hell, yeah, we're going to do this. Let's go. Hey, you hungry? Hey, they got some uh, fried rice, some Chinese food. Walk straight over where those people are at. Bottled water, uh, sodas, everything, everything. We out here. You you hungry? We got some Chinese food. Come on. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, you guys want some Chinese food? No, I didn't have today. Thank okay. You, All right. Hey, I'll for sure, for sure, man. Yeah. Blessings, blessings. God be with y'all, man. Real talk. If you guys want sodas or bottled water, they got them over there too. Yeah, sodas. They got Coke and uh and root beer, bottled water, all that. Yeah, we got Chinese food, uh, rice, the, the whole thing. Are you guys hungry? They got some Chinese food over there, some bottle of water, all the stuff. You guys are more than welcome. You guys want some food? We got Chinese food. We got fried rice, egg rolls, bottled water. The whole lot. You guys are more than welcome. We got salt, sodas, bottled water, you know? Hey, man, we all family out here. We all part of the kingdom. It smelled good, too. Whatever, whoever got it. Whoever got it. It smelled real good. <laughs> blessings, blessings. Hey, if you're hungry, they got uh, Chinese food over there, man. You just walk in that direction straight. Right by that black car, they got bottled water, sodas, everything. Go, go on ahead. Hey, man, you hungry, bro? Hey, you want some? Hey, we got some Chinese food. You hungry? Good, bro. What's good, man? Okay, for sure, bro. Hey, God bless you, man. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Are you hungry, man? We got the Chinese food. No, you're not hungry. We got the we got the Chinese food over here. Yeah, yeah. You walk over that way. We got soda, bottled water, everything, everything. Hey, you guys hungry? You guys already got the food, huh? We got some Chinese food over here. If you want to eat, fried rice. We got sodas, water, everything, man. Come on. Let's go. You hungry too? We got the food over here, Chinese food. The, the egg rolls, everything. You guys more than welcome, more than welcome. I'm, I'm going over. I'm for sure finna get some food, bro. You ain't gotta tell me. I'm out here, bro. Your boy is out here. 
I'm moving. I'm grooving. I'm talking to people, you know? We just trying to put it together. Make it happen, bro. To God be the glory. Hey, you hungry, man? You got some Chinese food? Come on over. Bottled water, sodas, everything, bro. We got everything. Whatever you need. Come on over. Yeah. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> oh man, to God be the glory. Welcome, hey, thank you for coming. Enjoy the food. God bless you, brother. God bless you, man. To God be the glory. Let's go. Yeah, grab soda. Ma. Ma. Ma, I hope you're not letting people grab in there. No, I'm no. Doing the grabbing. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Just call me. <laughs> we know, but right. we respect. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming. Hey, no, man. Peace. Thank you for being here. Right. Come Thank here, you. brother. What's your yeah. name? My name you is family, my, bro. Okay, what do you my mean? slave name is George Maravilla. My new name okay. is Kavid Vasquez. I'm hey, a Muslim. Hey, tell me, hey, tell me what's going on with you, my man. What's going on with me is that I was a victim of of a of uh, auto robbery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about four years ago. Uh huh. Then they pressed me to get housing. I got housing, but I got sick there. They didn't. I'm gonna ask you a question now. Do you know about Jesus? I know about Jesus, the mighty prophet. Tell me oh, what God. you know about Jesus, man. Jesus was a mighty prophet. I got one of the mighty men of Allah. He's a lot. Selah. All right. Yes, man. I love it. That's because there's only one God. Do you agree on that? Selah. The Lord, the Lord. Hey, to God be the glory, right? Always. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. You heard it. You heard it firsthand. From San Jose, California, peace and love to the world. They Amen. Stop fighting Israel, Palestine, all Sela, that. Selah, Selah. Come on, peace Look at to this the world. guy. Peace you to think the you world. got skills, man? Come on, Everybody, bro. Everybody, <laughs> peace to the world. God bless, guys. Hey, God bless you, man. God bless you. Okay. All right, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Hey, hey, she. I think she wants some food here. She wants some. What do you want? You want egg roll? Yeah. You you want the uh, fried rice or chow mein? Yeah. We got the. Which one? Which one? Give, give her everything. Everyone's getting a little bit of everything. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and give her everything. So yeah, it's going down. They got the food going. We got Izzy out here. Yeah. Blessings. <laughs> huh? Well, they got the pizza too. Look at this. Little man got the pizza. Real talk, man. Little Caesars. Let's go. Hey, are you trying to get something? You not hungry, man? It's Chinese food. Come on, get the food, man. What you want? You want everything? Chinese food. Okay, let's get him a plate too, man. I get you a plate. Hey, you want some? Come here, bro. You want some? Like this, you want like some this, soda, like this, man? Like this. Put that arm again, like that. Okay. okay. Like this. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Down here. Yeah. Down here. Boom. Like this. Boom. Oh. Oh, he knows the stuff, man. <laughs> Who taught you that? Here you go, man. That's for you. Yeah. Blessings. 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 Yeah. Please take. Have Chinese food? Did you want to play the Chinese food? Sure. Just some egg rolls. Oh, the egg roll. Yeah, get the egg roll. Everything. Everything. Hey, Mom, uh, please close the door uh, if you can. You know? Please. Thank you. No, no, no. no. Well, you know, we probably leave Anubis' door open. Thank you. No, no, don't come out. Oh, beautiful door. No, sit your butt there. Don't come out the door. Car. Man, no sauces or nothing? Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, we got the sauce. Right now. Yeah, we got it for you. Everything you want, we got it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You want to start with that too? I got this, man. I got the food going right there, man. Thank you so very much. Hey, man. The blessings from Allah, the Creator, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Gotta be thankful, no matter what. And the Apostle James says, praising and the good and the bad. Amen. Amen. And the good and the bad. Amen. Amen. And you want to come over here, sit down, and have dinner with your boy is. Juice, I'm juice, man. Okay, I love you. He's out here, you know. Hey, okay, you hungry you too, too huh? Love. Come, please. Let's get him, let's get the man some food. He's hungry. You want uh, some bottled water too? Soda? Which uh, one? I got soda. You take soda, which one? Coke or root beer? Root beer. The root beer? Okay, I got root beer for you right here. Here it is. Boom. My man, it's cold too. Okay, thank you. Hey, blessings, my man. God be the glory, man. God be the glory. Hey, man. You know about the Jesus? Um, Do you know about Jesus, man? Tell me. What you know about one? Jesus? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, let's we'll get him the food. Chinese? Yes, please. Let's get him whatever he needs. Oh, oh shoot. My thing is going. Oh, shoot. There we go. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. I'm about to fly my drone now. I've been wanting to fly this drone for a good minute. <laughs> 
Look at mom. Mom over here eating. <laughs> mom, hey, you made sure to get you a plate first, huh? <laughs> I love it, mom. I love it. Legit. Mom over here eating. Nice. All right. Well, hey, uh, I think these gentlemen might be hungry too. Real talk. Look at Anubis. Hey, Anubis, how you doing, Bubba? Huh? Huh? No, no, get in there. Tell me about the, you say you pray for the people? I like the food, I'm blessed, and I appreciate people that don't stick a camera in my face. Oh, she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I don't wanna, I, I, all right. Cool, hey, tell me about God, man. What you got to say? Huh? He got the word in hand. Must need to learn study. Hey, tell me about the Sadducees and the and the Pharisees, man. They were fad. They were. <laughs> it was a fad. It was the Sadducees were sad, you see, and the Pharisees fair. See. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. One death prophet, one life prophet. Is that really what it was about? Mm, one believed in resurrection, one didn't. Okay. Sad's ones were I don't know, easy way to relate. Interesting. Hmm. Hey man, it seems like everybody know about Jesus, man. The whole world know about Jesus. My world know about Jesus. That's great, right? Yeah, man. You know about me. Hey, look, he opened the Bible and everything. Mm -hmm. I read very much. <laughs> my man, hey man, thanks for your time, my dude. Thank you for my for your time. Which one is this one? What is it? Hebrews. Hebrews? <laughs> he said he opened it up to Hebrews 2:18. Let's go. What does go. it say? Read it now. Read it. What's it say? Read it. Can you read it? I can't. All right, I'll, which one? 218? I got you, my man. All right, so uh, I'm going to read this. Give me a second here. Let's see. Grab this thing. I got to document everything. I'm shooting a documentary. Cool. So, you know. Let me, let me try to even learn the other book. It's very hard to not go over. All right, so uh, we're looking at the uh, 218. 218. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. 218. Real pastor shit. Now it goes on with signs of two. Uh-huh. Second Peter 2. Second Peter 2? Yes. Second epistle. Sam and Peter, a servant and apostle. Goes on forever like filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you went I to the college? Very much, very much sorry, but Better you film yourself reading word. Interesting. Yeah. I like the way you do yeah. I, I did do that. I did that yesterday. Really? I do it every week, man. That's great. I do it every week, and then I, uh, you know, I'm sending out the message to the world. I do I do kind of specializations, like circle, circle dancing. I do break dancing. It's one of my passions. Wait, you do the like, break dancing, yes. man? Oh, bro. This guy got the skills, man. Just do a short move. Hold on, man. We're going to see this guy do the break dancing right now, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold on, man. He's going to do the break dancing for us. Let's watch this. Come on, man. Show me the break dance. What you got, man? Oh, nice. He did the kick. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty good. Here. <laughs> Not bad, right? Not oh bad. man, I used to break dance when I was younger too, man. And I remember when I was in uh, middle school, right? The B boys, come on, bro. Everybody knows about the B boys, man. <laughs> That's what it was about. There was two over at San Jose State, my friends. Yeah, yeah. Come tonight. Wait, tonight? Yeah. Come on, man. On seven, I'll call stay I'm a. You know, hey man, I got so much things to do. I'm getting ready to go to Oakland next. Oh, okay. We came here, we did San Jose. I'm doing Oakland, Sacramento, and then I gotta head to LA next. You know what I mean? I got a lot of work to do, man. The world is calling my name and I gotta go to it. I'm going to uh, Nicaragua and <laughs> next month. Um, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, next month, July. And then I'm shooting to, uh, to India in September and uh, back to Nicaragua again, October, end of the year, I'm going to Africa. Mm. The whole world, man. I'm here to help. And you know, if you got passion, you got something you're trying to do, man, you got to get out there and get after it. You're right. That's real talk, man. Whatever it is that you want to do in life, you got to get after it. Like, real talk. And I'm here to get after it, 100%. I'm a, I'm a man on a mission. This is the mission right here. You see? The whole, this is the Bible, bro. This is the mission. Mm -hmm. We out here to let the world know about Jesus Christ, man. That's right, the whole Bible. You know what I mean? Until, until, until it's over, man. Okay. It ain't over until it's over. There you go. Real you talk. Enjoyed your dinner, huh? Mom. Hey, you guys. How's it going? Your boy Darius here. 
Um, I am juice, bro. Um, today is a great opportunity because I'm so excited. We're gonna be going bowling in a little bit, um, you know, to celebrate my mom's birthday. So um, I'm really juiced about that. Um, yesterday's workout was killer, 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 killer. Uh, I went to the gym yesterday. Um, you know, that was a really good, awesome opportunity. Um, I did some really heavy lifting. So, you know, that was great. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, every day of life is a blessing. And I think if you're blessed to have quality of life, that you should do whatever is necessary to, necessary to keep it. So, um, yeah, we're going bowling tonight. Whole fam gonna be there. I'm juiced, you know, so. Yeah, and then to, uh, I was supposed to go to Oakland today, but you know, things don't always go as planned. So um, probably tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, God bless. All right, so uh, here we are, man. I'm over here at this, uh, at this bowling alley right now. Um, your boy is juiced, man. You know, it's my mom's birthday, and this is gonna be a great opportunity, man, to get the job done. You know, we're gonna have some fun in here. <laughs> I'm juiced, bro. I'm super juiced. So uh, let's make it happen, shall we? Woo! All right, where are they at? They're around here somewhere. We'll find them. this way so you know what it is man do it you know I'm, I'm in here can i get your name gary gary this is gary um he is he, you said retired minister yep were you a deacon or no, pastor I'm ordained reverend doctor oh my goodness <laughs> so me and gary i just met him i was just talking to him and you know this is a blessing that you know it's crazy i was doing a video and you know god will bring the right people into your life at the right time so gary's uh, gary right gary's gonna pray for me because i'm getting ready to take this trip go do this mission work and i need god's grace to be with us because we don't know what's gonna happen you know we're gonna go out here we're gonna go to some uh, some dangerous neighborhoods you know we're gonna be dealing with unstable people you know because a lot of people who are um a lot of people are homeless some of those people have mental issues right. so we need the grace of god on this mission because we want to touch people all over the world so let's go ahead and do it let's do all it all right dear heavenly father we give you thanks for this is the day which you have made mm -hmm. let us rejoice and be glad in it we ask that you would be with us today and surround us with your holy angels that you would protect us from all physical harm but most importantly from spiritual attack mm -hmm. be with the brothers and sisters that we touch in our lives as we go that we may be a good reflection of the salvation we have by grace through faith in Jesus Christ our Savior. Selah. Bless us in our travels, keep us safe, and let us enjoy each day to the glory of your holy name that we may bring others to know that peace that passes all understanding in Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Hey. God bless you. Take care, brother. Thank you so much. You guys, wherever you guys are going, please say travels, you know. You too. God be with you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm Darius. Darius. Yes. Enjoy your food. I don't want to take hold you up. I got a dog in the car. I got to get to him. Let him run around and I'll see you guys. God bless. Um, huh? So, you guys know your boy is on a mission. I'm out here just to, you know, try and do some good. So, I got some food here. And there's a guy out here. I'm gonna see if he's hungry or not. Yeah, they came to get my wife, bro. Hey, are you hungry, my dude? No, I'm not hungry, bro. There's a whole plate. I'm not hungry, Brand bro. new. I'm not hungry, bro. Brand new. It Chicken, don't matter. My girl's rice. brand new. She's waiting for me. I'm sorry y'all had hey. to deal with this shit, bro. My dude. My is right. Hey, there's some good food here. I'm I straight, just bro. bought it. I I'm, bought it for you, I'm man. Straight, bro. I'm trying to stay slim, bro. I'm trying to fucking get in my daisy, bro. That's why I got That's chicken. That's why they all lost in the bay because they wasn't. This is chicken and rice. This is come on, bro. I'm straight. Have bro. you have you been to jail, Enjoy. man? 
This is the good food. 17 days. Come on. Hey, oh, man. Eight and a half years before that. All right. Hey, man. If you I ain't. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it. Can you, can you at least save it for later? Please, do it for me, bro. I'll save it for later. I don't want to waste the food, man. All Please, right, can you at least say, where, where do you want me to put it? I'll put it over there. All right, man. Thank you much, bro. No, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, man, you just like me. We the same. Hey. <laughs> we the same, bro. Hey, bro, I grew up fucking playing ball. Hey. This is what it is, bro. You real? It's my town. Like my dude. Don't wait for my life, dog. God bless, man. God bless. Enjoy it. I'm gonna make sure that the world sees it. Do I have to have this on? No, it, it's up to you. Okay, my story is I took care of my mom five years. I was cleaning somewhere. When she passed, I made arrangements for everything but me. And I lost my mind when I lost my mom. Okay, my daughter, senior year in high school, she dropped out. She's now a college student, seven years. I'm proud of my baby. Anyways, my husband and I got back together. He left me 18 months ago, homeless, on the streets. So we could continue doing heroin with somebody else after 25 and a half years of marriage. So I had a home. I still have one. I've had it for 10 months. Well, I got raped and drugged and hurt in my apartment so many times. I'm better off and safer on the street. Got a new case manager as of today, and I should be housed within the next 30, 60 days. And I'm 59 years old. Man, crazy. How do you say that? What? Your name? April. April. All right, so I'm over here chilling with April, right? April is the homie. She's really nice to me, and I appreciate that. So I want to bless April, right? She's already getting some food, you know, but, you know, all for the glory of the kingdom, right? Whenever I see a need, I'm going to meet that need 100%, man. You know, and this is why I'm so blessed. So this is what we finna do. I got some, I got some money in the pocket, right? I'm going to reach in here. And April, April, I'm giving you a cool hundred. No way. Yeah, you finna get a hundred right now. You see this? This is going to April. April, this is all for the glory of the kingdom. You already told me that you're Christian. You read the Bible. Yes, I so do. So here, I don't know what you're gonna do with that. I'm gonna buy me a dress and shirt. <laughs> I just hope that you use it and for the right things, you know. And like I say, everything is for the glory of the kingdom. So be blessed, April. You know, enjoy that. You know, Thank like. You. It is, I, I just, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Look, April, we cool. You, you the homie, April. <laughs> real talk, real talk, man. You the homie, Thank we you. cool. I, I, we both human, so, Amen. you know. I'm going to treat people, I'm going to treat, it say in the Bible, right, as who, how you are to the least of us, right? Mm -hmm. You know, to the least of us, right? That is how God is going to be to you. Amen. Real I talk, man. That. So, if you treat, if you treat, like, you know, for example, like, you know, children, you know, you treat children good, you know, like my nephews and nieces always be trying to bless them. Mm -hmm. You know, I just try to be a blessing wherever I go. So, Amen. you know, that's why I'm blessed though, real talk. Like, I, I've been so fortunate. God has given me so much money, man. Like, every year I buy a brand new car. Oh, yeah. Every year. No, man, every year I get a brand new car. Well, when you I don't drive the same car. <laughs> Actually, and, uh, what's it called, like two years ago, I got two brand new cars in one year. Oh wow! You know, oh yeah, I'm, I'm so really blessed, to do. and it's always because I'm always giving. If you if you always have your hand closed, right? You ain't getting nothing. How are you going to get anything if you're never giving, right? And that's why poor pe a lot of people who don't have money, right? They're gonna continue in that as long as they're not willing to give. But if you give, right? I do all the You're time. opening the door. God is gonna homeless. bless you. I see homeless every day. Hey, I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Even when I'm gonna I don't catch have you it. guys. You already know, man, we on the way to Sacramento. I'm so juiced, we finna hit there, and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna hit Oakland next. You know, I'm excited about Oakland, I'm juiced. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go do Subway. I'm probably gonna buy like 50 Subway sandwiches <laughs> or something like that. We gonna go riding through Oakland, just giving out Subway sandwiches, I'm juiced. Okay. I'm now, juiced, anyway, you catch you guys. Go?